Thus far, we have only evaluated simple electrical concepts and circuits. With these basics in mind, we will evaluate the ignition system. The basics of the magnetotype system will lay the foundation for more complex systems used on most Kohler engines. The function of an ignition system is to create enough voltage to make electrons jump across the gap at the tip of the spark plug. This is accomplished in the ignition coil using electromagnetic induction. The ignition coil gets its name from the two main circuits inside, which are actually continuous coils of copper wire wound around a laminated iron core. The primary circuit or coil is relatively heavy wire with fewer turns in the coil. The secondary coil is extremely fine wire and it can have up to 100 times as many turns as the primary. A magneto ignition system has a permanent magnet affixed to the flywheel. As the flywheel rotates and the magnet passes in close proximity to the ignition coil, the core of the coil provides a path for the magnetic flux. The flux passing through the core induces current in the coil windings. The primary windings are part of a complete circuit controlled by a switch. If the switch is closed, current will begin to flow. The current flow causes each of the primary windings to become a small electromagnet with a spiral flux pattern. As the current increases, the flux pattern spreads, cutting the adjacent windings, inducing more current. This process is called self-inductance. The self-inductance increases the primary voltage and the size and intensity of the magnetic field. They will peak when the flywheel magnet reaches the opposite side of the core and the flux flow reverses direction. Right at that instant, the switch will open the primary circuit, causing the magnetic field around the primary windings to collapse. As it collapses, the flux cuts the secondary windings, inducing a rapid voltage increase. This is known as mutual inductance. Because there are so many more secondary windings, the induced voltage is many times higher, up to 25,000 volts. The spark plug is connected in series between the secondary windings and ground. The rapid surge of voltage causes current to arc across the electrodes at the tip of the spark plug. At the same time, an increased voltage is also self-induced in the primary windings as an undesirable side effect. To absorb this surge of energy and prevent it from arcing across the breaker point contacts, a capacitor or condenser is installed in the circuit, parallel to the breaker points. The condenser acts like an electrical shock absorber loading with electrons when the points are open, then discharging to ground when they close. A battery ignition system functions much the same as the magneto system, except it uses battery voltage in the primary windings instead of induced voltage. On opposed twin cylinder models, the coil has more windings, so it can produce enough voltage to fire both spark plugs. Both plugs fire together on each stroke, but every other spark is wasted, firing into an empty cylinder on the exhaust stroke. In place of mechanical breaker points, newer systems use a solid-state semiconductor switch, or SCS, to control current in the primary windings. Two types of solid-state systems are used in Kohler engines. These are direct induction and capacitive discharge, or CD, ignition. In a direct induction system, a separate triggering coil is positioned so a voltage is induced at the same instant the magnetic flux reverses in the core. The induced voltage triggers the SCS to open the primary circuit. The resulting collapse of the electromagnetic field around the primary coil directly induces high voltage in the secondary windings. Capacitive discharge, or CD, systems have a separate charge coil winding inside the ignition module, identified here as L1. As the flywheel magnet passes, 
the current induced in the charge coil is rectified by a diode, D1, and charges a capacitor, C1. The capacitor is connected in series with the primary coil winding. An SCS is connected parallel to the primary winding and capacitor and is normally open. When the L2 trigger coil voltage closes the SCS, the energy stored in the capacitor is released instantaneously into the primary winding. The burst of voltage through the primary winding generates a rapidly expanding force field around the primary winding, which mutually induces a high secondary voltage and the subsequent firing of the spark plug. Smart Spark is a modified capacitive discharge system. The triggering coil is left out of the ignition module and is replaced by a separate black box called the Spark Advance Module, or SAM. The SAM uses the charge coil pulse width to determine when the SCS fires. Pulse width changes with engine speed. Therefore, spark timing changes with engine speed. For starting and low RPM, the SAM delays the trigger signal for retarded ignition timing. As engine speed increases, the SAM gradually advances the timing, maintaining the peak firing point for any operating speed. The digital spark advance ignition is designed to meet Kohler specifications. The DSAI is a 12-volt battery-powered inductive microprocessor controlled ignition module capable of operating within a system voltage range of 5 to 16 volts. An individual DSAI module is used on each cylinder. Timing curves for specific engines are incorporated into the digital logic to enhance engine performance with precise, repeatable ignition control. The DSAI features an integrated coil and timing control with no external DSAM control module and a convenient multi-pin interface connector. Because the unit uses flywheel magnets to only trigger the module, a high energy longer duration spark is produced at cranking speed as low as 100 RPM. The triggering characteristics of the DSAI do not require exact positioning relative to the flywheel eliminating air gap adjustments with simple mount-and-go installation. Several electrical differences exist when compared to previous ignition systems. Specifically, a low 4-volt signal at the kill tab compares to 300-volt pulses on previous ignition systems. The current draw is slightly higher in operation than DSAM ignition, but a minute 5 milliamp sleep feature preserves the battery should the ignition key be inadvertently left in the on position.